I'm going to the beach for two days. Are you serious? Yeah. With who? The guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the week. And then I gotta cry myself to sleep because Austin's leaving. Austin's leaving. The beach thing, I think it's unfair. I have realized today that I have major separation anxiety. Why? 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 Guys, right now it is 6.20 a.m. I was supposed to be up at five, but I did not wake up to my alarm. I definitely heard it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I have so much to do today, but me and Austin wanted to do something fun, so we're waking up early to fit it in. We are gonna go to Waffle House and bring you guys along a really fun sunrise morning. I'm so excited. Let's go. Hello. Putting on some mascara so I don't look absolutely dead. Let's get out here in the garage. Are you ready? No, we're gonna sit. I was trying to get ready quick. You sucker. Awesome walked me out in the garage. It's <laughs> payback. It's so early. Why did you want to do this, huh? So we can have a fun time before work. Oh. So my mom is out of town, and so I'm officially Gatsby's mother. Gatsby, buddy. Go straight to his bowl. <laughs> no, he's got a routine. He's going places, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let's get it, boy. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Our plan was to wake up when the sun was down, but technically it's not fully up, so we did not fail. See, it's like mid. It is your golden hour right now. You look amazing. I'm a menace in the morning. I don't care about nothing. Fending people, I will do it all day long. Steal people's food, I will do it. I love the morning. It's so beautiful. Oh yeah, you too. Bro, the way you looked at me was so, I'm tired, you went. <laughs> <laughs> No! Annoying. He's got the morning zoomies. That's me, no! Seriously, this is not fun. Give me my bra. Give it. Come on, let's go. It is way too early for this. Pop her in there. Okay, now we're off. Okay, here's the deal. Mm. So I know last night I bribed you to get up with the Waffle House. Yeah. But. If you're telling me but, that we're not going to go there, I'm turning the car around no, right now. No, no, listen. No. Linda, listen. There's no, listen, there's no listen. exception. There is another option. There's no other option. Your this mind just can't think to. of it. No, there You're the same are as me, so I know you're going to no love it. No other 100%. options. No. Chick-fil-A. There are other options. I told we you. Have other options. <laughs> Bro, I, I don't know, man. I was craving Waffle House so bad last night, but I'm not even gonna lie. This morning I woke up and I was straight up craving some chicken minis. All right. Bro, what is up? Well, now they're gone. I have the worst shadows ever on my face. I don't You're know what you're talking about. Like I look great. A perfect golden glow. <laughs> I look like I got a hat and a beard. No, but I felt it too. I felt it too. I think that means we're supposed to go. No, we're supposed to go. We're the sad part is, is I'm on that calorie counter, so I can't even get mini. Mm. But I can get the grilled chicken grill, and that is good. Grilled chicken grill? Yes. Yeah, that's good too. Ladies and we are gentlemen. at the Chick-fil-A. We are at the Fala. Hi, can I have um the the grilled chicken one? And you want granola or cookie? Granola, Austin. Granola. Thank you so much. Well, guys, right, I'm assuming we're not we eating in the car. Where no, are we eating? of course not. Where are we eating now? We're driving to Lake Maniola and we are going to sit and we are going to open the trunk and be snuggy with our blankies and then our, eat our food. I'm ready. Are you serious? Why are you laughing at me? This is serious. It's gone. My livelihood. Guys, it's okay. I found it. I found it. You're an extension of me. It still counts as I found it. What? Did you find it. Yeah. What do you mean? Yep. Put in the comments if you agree. Guys, so Allie and I are very toxic together. 
Here's why. Don't say that. We can convince each other to of give anything. up on anything. Guys, today <laughs> I literally notice. called Austin. I was feeling so awake and uh, immediately I told him, I said, you know what? We could just go back to sleep if we want. I know. It's terrible. And both of us will pose the question of giving up oh, yeah. or fall asleep. No. We can convince ourselves to go out to eat, to go get a coffee, or to watch a movie pretty much at any time of the day. At any point. There's a justification everywhere. Every single time. And the problem is our justifications are the exact same. Like Noah, my brother, I could never convince him to do things like that with me. Also guys, do not forget to like and subscribe. It means the absolute world. I genuinely can't express how much. It helps us be able to do what we do and you guys are commenting, making this atmosphere for this community so fun and letting us be able to get to know you. It's a blast. When you guys subscribe and like, it pushes our videos into recommended so that so many more people become a part of our family and it seriously means the world. So thank y'all so much. I thought this was gonna be a little romantic special moment, just sitting here on? out at the park. There's nothing romantic about a bunch of people in spandex no. shorts. I gotta take you to my favorite spot. Oh my gosh, there's so many people up and active right now. It really convicts me. Not me. I just think, wow, they're going places. Oh, shut it. <laughs> How did that phrase even come about? <laughs> it's all we've said the last three days. Oh, I know. It was because the other day I was offering Allie some food and she had like just got on her like calorie thing where she's like eating really healthy and stuff. And she's like, no, I'm not eating that. I'm going places. I am. She's I'm going growing. places. No, and you're right. She is. You're growing and you're going places. <laughs> so now whenever we walk past or drive past somebody that's doing anything. That's better than like us. That, we're like, they're going places. Dang, they're going places. <laughs> I guess you guys can come too. Alrighty, we got the lake, we got this man, we got a duck. What else could you want? Ah, uh, I'm gonna finish what I started on the garage floor. Time to eat. Let the eating commence. Just a boy and his mini. How are they, Austin? This is exactly what I wanted for today. I know, guys, this is really, really fun. No. <laughs> Don't record my pants. Just lick it. Off of my pants? Is it on your. No! That's why I was sad. Can I have a napkin real quick, please? Guys, Allie made me get granola over cookie crumbs in my fruit yogurt cup. At 7 a.m.? Yes. Who gets granola in their yogurt? That's just, it's so good, it's so wrong. I'm just kidding, I love granola and yogurt. So guys, as you know, me and Austin spend every second of every day together and I'm a little stressed out because we're not spending today together. Um, and I wanna know what Austin has on his agenda, just so I know. What I have on my agenda? Yeah, what are you even doing today? Um, well, I have a meeting at three and then after- With what? With Jay Walkers. Oh, me too. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, are we going to the same meeting? You wanna ride together? Yeah. Just when we try to separate for a few seconds, something pulls us back in. And then I'm going to the beach for two days. Are you serious? Yeah. With who? The guys. Swear. Swear. Why are you just telling me that now? They technically didn't invite me, but inviting myself. They said it last night, potentially. So I think we're gonna try to go to the beach. Just the guys. I'm so mad at these people running by us as we're stuffing our faces with chicken minis, telling us how many miles they've ran. I think they're missing out. They don't have chicken minis. You're right. If I could uh, be one of us, I would be me. But don't compare yourself, kids. Uh, That's so stupid. They're going places too, but they are going places. Just not anywhere like us. We want to go. I am getting a little convicted though. Maybe we should go on a little trip. A little walk. A little troll. I, right I agree, up to I the agree. coffee shop. Let's go. Because <laughs> it's open. Let's go on a troll to the coffee shop. So, Allison, you asked me what I'm doing today. What are you doing today? Listen, I'm still recovering from the fact you just told me we were leaving for two days. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. 
I really, really hope that Carol is not busy doing school because I really want to hang out with her. Today, I have really exciting things, actually. Today's a really good day, which is why we woke up early. I have a chosen and free meeting, but I really pray that it is an open door and that it goes good because if it is, there's gonna be so many incredible things coming up really soon for chosen and free, which by the way, if you guys are looking for a page of encouragement every single day, it's literally daily encouragement. I wish I had this my entire life and I'm so thankful for it now. Follow chosen and free co on Instagram. And then I have a meeting at church with Austin for a Jay Walker's conference, which I'm excited about that too. And then I gotta cry myself to sleep because Austin's leaving. A goodbye present for Holly. Oh, no, goodbye present. I'll get you this for a goodbye present. No, no. I know Wes is annoyed at us coming. What's up? Austin's leaving. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm probably gonna stay here for the next few days. <laughs> so, Wes. Where are you going? I know. To the beach. Alone? No. Oh. No, with the guys. He's like, alone? Sketchy. Going to the beach with the dude. Yeah. Yes. It's a bro's day. Or a bro's, bro's trip. Little one. Yeah. How many days? Uh, j we're leaving today. Probably get back either Saturday. Friday night or Saturday morning. It's a long time. See? Don't you think he should stay? It's a long stay? time. Three days? In the middle of a work week. How irresponsible. Very. Let me tell you all something. Wes is here 24-7. Like, yeah. I, I know I can count on him. He's the hardest yeah. worker ever. I don't go to the beach. No. Three no. days to the beach? Yeah. That's... Come on. Come Did on. they even invite you? No. Me? No. no. Me either. The beach thing, I think it's unfair. It's so unfair. It's so it's unfair. It's on my side. I literally, if you invite me to go right now, I won't even talk Wait, no, to you no, no, the no, entire no. trip. I will spin this. I promise I'll respect the bro time. Me, I'll go right now. Big circles. Yeah. As a farewell to you, I was so Upon you. you are so dramatic. Yeah. Excuse me. You got swing. That is swing so up. good. No, what if this changes my life and I don't drink sugar in my coffee anymore? I doubt it. Pumpkin Ooh. spice season. I'm gonna be That's getting amazing that, for you. Getting that sugar. Oh, I love Florida. It's like you walked into a breath of someone's hot air. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was so embarrassing. It wasn't even like you missed it by a little bit. It was like breath of someone's hot air. <laughs> Shut up. That was so cringy to even watch. Listen. I think I found a new ick. No! When she misses the straw. Oh my gosh, Allie, tell them what you said. I have realized today that I have major separation anxiety. I can't even believe I'm saying that because I'm a thick independent woman, but I do. This is a problem. Every time I look at you, I just think to myself, he's leaving me in like three hours to just rot. The dramatics. Look at her, little drama queen. I'm gonna have so much fun with Carol. I'm actually really excited. I was the only person that Whoa. I know that will have out of spite fun. No, let me tell you something right now, okay? See? I was. I want you guys to know, I was already planning on hanging out with Carol this weekend, but mm -hmm. it's a work day, you know what I mean? And is that of a human in the water? Yes, it is. Aren't they scared of gators? Is there anything that I could do right now to get you to jump in the water? Yes. What? Stay. I, anything but that. Oh, he doesn't love me. Come on, little Oz. Guys, when I look at Austin, I straight up see him as a toddler. There he goes. <laughs> My belly's sticking on the... Awesome. I challenge you to a backflip on the swings. Yes, I love the enthusiasm. kid. That's why I refuse to grow up. Is that yours? Yep. Oh, mine's over there in the mulch. Dang it. Me and Austin are officially 10 years old today. Austin and I. Okay. Show them what you got. I'm just like so over like Austin being like impressed by the Tomb Raider and stuff. Like that's embarrassing. She's just playing a role. I'm actually like that. Hey, that's not embarrassing at all. Oh, oh, please don't hurt yourself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. If you get hurt, I'm serious, bro. Al's <laughs> something squeaking. For Narnia! <laughs> Seriously, Austin, I'm showing you. Your agility? See, you gotta make sure that you have bare legs. Please it might do not be hurt painful, yourself. painful, but you make sure your sweat makes sure the stick. Whoa! Tomb Raider ain't got nothing on you. Since you've been acting like a little baby this whole time. Okay, I'm, I'm not a... acting like a child. Yes, you are. I genuinely am just having fun. My playful side's coming out, and you are leaving me today, so. I got a swing for you. Swing dance? No, absolutely not.
Anyway, I have the perfect swing for you. Keep your eyes closed. Okay. Since you've been acting like a little baby this whole time, keep them closed. Come on. Keep them closed. I thought. No, you didn't. All right, keep moving. Here we go. Back up. There oh, we go. Word. You know I want to do this so much. I know bad. you do. Oh my gosh, this is the life. Wow. Woohoo! Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, guys. This is like very, very. Okay, I'm getting nauseous. Guys, our little baby fell asleep, even with all the background weed whacking going on. Look at her. I don't know what's wrong with me. I used to be able to do all the fun things when I was young, but I am nauseous as crap. Getting older, girl. No, no, please. I'm only 23. It's hard like waking up. It actually feels so good in the morning. Oh, that's bird poop. I don't. Is it what? No, it's just dry. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me wipe on you. No, Allison, back up. Allie, back I'm up. Coming. Back the heck up. Go wash your hands. Nasty. <laughs> First, you told me you're leaving, then you won't even touch the bird poop with me. The worst. My little angry elf, look at her. Before we go, you know, life is too short, and so we have one last thing that we want to do. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. This is gonna be a very cold ride home, uh, but I definitely think it was worth it's it. It's not very deep out here. It's not as deep as I thought. This has given me throwbacks to when we were in Israel and we went to the Dead Sea, except for we actually aren't floating. I'm sitting on the bottom of the ground. <sighs> All right, well, Mr. Shirtless. It looks like I'm peeing. That's, really, that's, that's a little sketchy, not gonna lie. I take everything back. You are so white right now. I want you to go to the beach with the boys. Dude, I can go white, white, dark, dark. It's wild. All right, grab the camera. With me. I also need to go because I am white <laughs> as well. I'm just gonna go incognito. You guys won't even see me. No. Bro's there, you know? Carol, if you're watching this, you know it's up. You know when you had fun, but then the consequence is here? <laughs> well, worth it. Yeah, it's us. Yep, it's you. Really? Mm hmm. I actually feel kind of dry. Well, yeah, it all seeped through the sea, so now you're good. Oh, great. <laughs> One of the best ways to start the morning, and honestly, something that I really want to get back into the habit of doing because life is so busy and it's easy to push this aside, is doing your devotion, spending your quiet time with the Lord, where you're intentional to read His Word and just receive from Him. It completely changes the whole trajectory of your entire day when you read your Bible in the morning. So, with that being said, we're going to be reading the verse of the day. You can find the verse of the day every single day in the Bible app. It's such an amazing resource that I know we love and we use in our lives when we don't have our physical Bible in front of us and we want to get that time in with the Lord. So today's verse is Romans 10 verse 17, but I always like to go back a verse because I like to get more context so that when I read it's not completely saying something or I interpret it in a way that really is not at all what God was saying or what the word intended to say at all. So we're gonna be starting in verse 16 instead of 17. And it says this, but not everyone welcomes the good news. For Isaiah the prophet said, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from hearing, that is hearing the good news about Christ. When I think about these verses, and this is why I like to go back a verse, is you can hear something, but hearing something and welcoming something is completely different. And if you continue to read on in Romans, and I would encourage you guys to do that today if you haven't in your quiet time yet, or maybe you just wanna read again. It goes on to say like, I asked, have the Israelites even heard like the real word of God? And it's like, yes, they have. But they were continued to be disobedient even though they had heard the word of God because they didn't welcome it they didn't receive it and it's the same with like the gift of salvation that Jesus died for and God freely gives us is it's there we're able to take that gift at any time but we have to welcome it we can't just hear about it you have to physically and like verbally and believe in your heart and accept Christ into your heart mm -hmm. that's why it says too in this chapter in Romans 10 verses 9 through 11 it says this if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. As the scriptures tell us, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. So good. Isn't that so good? It's so, so good. Also, the, what I love about that verse too is there's 
so, been so many people that have the question of like, how do I grow my faith, right? How do I grow my faith? And he literally says it. It's so easy. It's hearing the word of God. God has designed miracles. He's designed all of the things that Jesus did so good as the evidence and the faith builders. These are the things that inspire. So as you hear, as you inspire and, and hear things from God, your faith is built and faith is like literally the foundation of everything. It's true. Kind of rabbit trailing from that. That also shows you that you have to be very careful of what you listen to because just as hearing the good things of God can build up your faith, hearing the bad things and letting bad stuff come on you and believe and listening to things that are darker and like um, depressing, it can pull your faith back down. I totally believe that. That is so true. That's why God says think on things that are good, upright, righteous, and holy constantly because you need that constant lift up. If you start letting your mind go there, it's gonna start pulling you back down. And hearing comes from a lot of different things. Hearing comes from making a space in your life where it is just you and God. You're journaling, you're praying, you're waiting for his response, not just telling him all of your requests. You're looking in his word, which is the Bible. That is literally his word breathed like into a book. That it's is incredible. Hearing comes from what your friends are saying to you, what your mentors are saying to you, who you're giving influence to in your life, the people that you're listening to in songs, on the radio, in TV shows, yeah. like all of these things are either building up your life or they're tearing down your life. So all of us are called to be more intentional with the seeds or the things that we're allowing to take root in our lives, the things that we're listening to, people we're hanging out with, things that we're thinking about, dwelling on. Because mm -hmm. even when you can't see them, your life will begin to bear that fruit on an outward appearance. Even if it seems like a hidden thing, it will come out into the open and that's the direction your life will be in. I, I know you've had a time in your life where something has happened or you've responded to a situation and you were like, oh, I didn't even, like, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to mm -hmm. say that. I didn't mean to be that. It's something that it was there. You're like, how did, I have never thought of that action or what. I just had that the other day. It like, literally, literally, it would just come out and that's something that maybe has been planted a long time ago right. and you don't you're now seeing evidence you're now seeing the fruit of it but it had already taken root in your life and that's not not something to be like oh my gosh i'm a horrible person over but i know when it happened to me the other day i realized this is not in my character this is never even something i've thought about mm. so like what is wrong or off in my life what is taking the place of god or where did i let the enemy in that this has grown this fruit in my life mm. so that i can identify it and destroy it because the enemy has no power unless you give it to him. And the best way to destroy and stop the plans he has for your life, to destroy and kill God's purpose over you and the freedom that Jesus died for is to make you believe that he's not there. Mm -hmm. We love y'all so much. We seriously love doing life with you. And we would love it and appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to this channel and comment what God's revealing to you, maybe some prayer requests you have. Comment on all our other fam in the chats too. This is truly a community that we love each other. We might not be perfect, but we're all aiming to grow together. And that's what I truly adore about this group we have on no, here. No, it's so amazing. And and uh, the last thing I wanted to say is uh, I know Ali was really sad about me leaving his stuff. I'm sad. I'm sad to uh, be gone from you too. I, just, I know I didn't say it. I didn't want to admit it. Yeah, I didn't want to admit it. separation anxiety from I, me too. It's not separation anxiety. Yes, it Even is. No, it's not. I'm just going to miss you a little bit. It's fine. Okay. It's now fine. that makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. Now I'll allow you to go. Bruh. Yes, yeah, when I say that, you don't allow me to do anything. Okay, true, but just let me have it. Just let me have it, okay? We both know. Goodbye. Anyway, I love y'all. You're amazing. God has amazing plans for your life. You're chosen by him, and I'll see y'all next vlog. Bye-bye.